Hey everybody, Nova for the win here, and today we're going to be playing some Black Ops 2 on the map Detour, and today we're going to be doing another top 5, which is probably what you guys really wanted. I was going to do another video with something else, but then I decided to do a top 5 because you guys probably would have liked that a lot more than what I was. I was just going to have some boring conversation about you, with um, you guys, but you know. Figured you guys rather see a top 5, and this top 5 is about the, my top 5 games, in my opinion, guys. Don't get upset if these are not your favorite games. These are just my top five favorite games put in a list to make one, like, what, one thing that I really like about these games, you know. Um, yeah, just, just, yeah, it's just what I like about these games and why, so, yeah. Coming in at number five in our list is going to be Modern Warfare 3. I really enjoyed that game a lot. It was a really good game, I mean. I wouldn't ask for any better, so yeah, I couldn't, it was a really good game, but it just didn't fully meet my expectations, I mean, it could have been way better than it was, like, there could have been, like, the weapon balancing could have been a bit better in the multiplayer, the, um, you know, just, just, just a bunch of stuff that, um, Activision could have done to improve, or whoever makes the multiplayer, I, I'm not very filled in at that, you know, just telling you. I'm not very filled in with who makes, like, I'm not, I don't follow the get people that much, so, yeah. They, they just could have done a bit of a better job at, you know, designing the weapon balancing. And another thing I really didn't like was the campaign and how they just killed off Soap like that. So, you played as Soap. You, you were Soap. And then they just freaking took that ability away from you. They just killed him off. Just like he was nothing. It's worse than, it's worse than in... Like, World at War when they killed off freaking Roebuck, bro. He'd been with your side and then they killed you off. But, yeah, it just... I don't like that. Why would they kill off Soap, dude? Soap was one of the most awesome characters I had ever played as. And then the fact that they just killed him off like that, bro, not cool. I do not like that whatsoever. I mean, there's some people that liked it, but those are people who didn't dislike Soap. But I could not see who would dislike Soap. I mean... Soap was one of the most awesomest characters in the Black Ops, or the Call of Duty storyline. So, yeah, that's exactly why it didn't make the one of the ones, like, four, three, or two. Coming in at number four is the GTA series, and I've really always enjoyed the GTA series. I mean, it's been a really good graphic game, and not only did it have good graphics, it has, like, it's got a really, really progressive storyline. But the reason why I didn't make it anything higher is because it does not really have an interlocking storyline of any type. It's just, it's got this like munch together, not munched together storyline, but you know, a storyline that like doesn't follow a pattern like some of the other like series games. Yeah, I don't know, it just doesn't work how they like make a new freaking, what's it called? Um, how they make a new storyline every time. I think they should make an interlocking pattern type storyline. Kind of how what some other games have, like how Call of Duty's like Black Ops and Modern Warfare linked together. That's what they need. That that would build a strong, solid foundation on the GTA series if they were to do that. Like say they were to make another campaign with Michael, Trevor, or not Trevor. It depends on who you killed. But if they were to make another campaign with Franklin and whoever you did kill, so yeah, that's exactly why I think it would be a lot better. Moving in at number three is Saints Row Four. Now, Saints Row 4 was a really good game, really enjoyed it, you know. It was, the only thing that was really bad about it, it was the fact that they just completely took the storyline and, like, did something that nobody even knows what they do it. They just took it and, like, crumpled it. It's like, it's like they took it, tied it to the end of a truck, and drove it down a dirt road. That, that, that's what it's like. That's what that, and then, like, the dirt road had rocks in it. And then the series was like a bloody body at the end because it couldn't handle it. And then, yeah, the fans bought it, of course. I bought it because I'd really like the Saints Row series. So, yeah. Coming in at our number two spot is going to be Black Ops 2, which is currently the game we are playing. And the reason why I've chosen Black Ops 2 for the number two spot is because it's a really good game. I mean, like, I don't know. It's just good in general, and yeah, it's just, it's just, it's good. I mean, like, it's amazing weapon balancing, incredible, but it's got a really good campaign. But you know, 
if only they would remove like like I just can't stand how many like obnoxious 40 year olds play this game it just and I don't understand I never seen that on any Call of Duty except for this one. Like mostly, it's filled with like teenagers and like eighteen year olds and like crap. But there's I've I've seen people that are like forty with a grown beard playing this game, and I'm like, dude, dude, I like literally people need to get a life. And then they make fun of you for being a low level, and I'm like, excuse me, that I have a life, bro. I mean, it's kind of hard, you know, like because you, you constantly get teased about being a low level when you're going up against a master of prestige. Um, and it's just quite annoying. I'm like, literally, guys, you're going to make fun of me because you guys are 40 and you have no life? That sounds wonderful. And you live in your mom's basement? I mean, go ahead, bro. That's, like, the only problem I have with it is some of the players that play it. Like, the trash-talking little freaking, like, like, I know I'm not the oldest person that plays Call of Duty, but, yeah, I'm not a squeaker. So, yeah, you guys can be thankful of that, that I'm not a squeaker. Like, I could, like, I'm not, yeah, like I said, I'm not the youngest or the oldest person that plays Call of Duty, but God. And then the annoying little squeakers get on my nerves, and then the people that pretend to be squeakers are even more annoying. So, yeah, that's just my problems with uh, Black Ops 2. And now we have one honorable mention, which is Saints Row the Third. And the problem I really didn't have, I had with Saints Row the Third, is it just, like, it felt, I felt like it took away, like, freedoms from you. That you had throughout the whole entire Saints Row series, which is 1 and 2. It, like, took away the ability to, you know, go to burger places and buy stuff. Is that a... Okay. Sorry, I just got confused. I thought that was a guy at first. But anyway, yeah, it's just, like... They took away freedoms from you that you were able to do and, like, stuff that you wanted to do. Like, how, like, I'm just gonna mention these things. Like, you were able to go out and eat in Saints Row 4. And then you were able to get drunk and get high, and you know, it was fun. That, that's what I really honestly enjoyed about Saints Row, the 2 and 1. But, um, yeah, it just, they took that away from you in Saints Row the third. And then they had a really boring open world. Like, it felt like it would be more of a mission in Call of Duty than an open world game. I mean, like, it just didn't feel as open, because you, it felt like you, like, you were only able to access certain places, which were your cribs, like, you couldn't go into buildings like you were able to in Saints Row 1 and 2. That's exactly another reason why I didn't really like it as much. But yeah, it's just, you know, when you, when you had, when, the, when what's it called? When Volition gave you the full access of, like, going into buildings and stuff, and then they take it away, it's kind of like a slap in the face. So, moving in at number 1. And our list is going to be, I'm sorry, I'm trying, um, Saints Row 2. And I really enjoyed Saints Row 2 just because of the fact that it had a really progressive storyline. It re like, like, it just, you know, it just, it met my expectations, and I'm pretty sure it met the other players' expectations. The fact that it had an online multiplayer was even better. Like, then that's another thing I took away in Saints Row 3, the online multiplayer. I'm sure you're able to do co-op, but it would never be like Saints Row 2's. So, yeah, it was really good, and I really enjoyed it, but, yeah, it was just really good. I have, like, it was good graphic. You guys are probably thinking, Saints Row 2, good graphics? What have you been smoking? No, I don't mean it, like, intensely good graphics. Like, I mean, like, something, like, like, really, like, close to good graphics. Like, you know, you guys know what I mean. But I, that's exactly why. And then you had a lot of freedoms in Saints Row 4, I mean, 2. I was thinking of the whole series. Yeah, but you had a lot more freedoms in Saints Row 2, like, once again, the ability to get high, the ability to, you know, do all that stuff that you weren't able to do in um, Saints Row the 3rd and the 4th. That's, you know, one of the main reasons why I didn't like them as much as I did the last ones. So, yeah, that's just really why I did not like the Saints Row series after the second. But, yeah, the Saints Row 2 was a really good game. Really have no complaints about it. It wasn't really laggy for me. It was a really good game. So, yeah. If you guys have any problems with it, um, mention them below. And, Please, guys, leave your favorite games, you know, because I would like to hear what you guys think of games and, like, what is your guys' favorite game, and, you know, I'll respond and see what I, th and I'll tell you what I think of that game, but, yeah. 
So, yeah, that's just all I wanted to do today was make another top five. So, yeah, um, like I said, just making another top five as I usually do. These are going to become, like, regular on my channel, so I want you guys to get used to them. So, yeah, um, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time.